So the sporting media has been engrossed, of course, in all aspects of this final. They've been speculating on the outcome. They've been interviewing players. They've been interviewing managers. They've been interviewing each other nearly and certainly interviewing other well-known sporting personalities about the match. But what does the ordinary man in the street think about it all? Well, we decided to find out. Eavesdropped on two Cork football experts. Tomorrow's the big day, boy, when Sambo 2 will be on the way to the banks of the league. Oh, Sambo 2, my, yeah? Sambo 2, chair, is the new Sam Maguire Cup what the Cork footballers will be bringing home with them. I hope you're right, my, yeah, because the Cork hurlers didn't even reach the All-Ireland. Chair, there was no real All-Ireland hurling final this year. How could there be when Cork weren't in it? But the question is, my, yeah, why weren't they in it? Because of typical Cork generosity, chair. <laughs> we wanted to give a chance to our fellow monster men tip. And they blew it, Jeff. <laughs> you see, the football is a different proposition. God only knows how many chances we've given to Kerry. So even Mick Waterwire will have to admit that tis only right that Sambo too should spend the first year of its life in the greatest football county in the country, and that's caught you. My ass, I'd be worried about Mick Waterwire. Why? So what have Mick Waterwire got to do with this year's final? He might tip cock to win. <laughs> Any time we are playing Kerry, he always tips Cork to win. And that really means he thinks we haven't a hope. Right, right. Of course, that's really a, a psychocodological ploy, Chet. Will you take it from me? Billy Morgan is too clever for that sort of thing. I say I don't buy Billy Morgan and the butterflies in the tummy. Oh, I hope not. It might make him to go running on the pitch. <laughs> uh, no, no. Billy Morgan will be fine. As long as he won't be fined. Yeah. But talking to the other crowd, I heard that the Mead trainer, a fella called Boylan... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sean Boylan. Sean Boylan, Jay. Yeah. Did you know that he's a vegetarian? Huh? That means, Jay, yeah, that he don't eat mead. <laughs> he don't eat mead to get that. <laughs> he don't eat mead. As long as he don't eat cock. <laughs> I heard anyway that he's taking no chances, that he's training his team on holy ground. You don't mean on our own holy ground down in Cork? Yeah, or not. Up in the, the Columban Mysteries up in Nevin. I suppose he's hoping for divine inspiration. Yeah, well, it will do him no good, yet, yeah? Because Larry Tompkins and the forwards, they'll know what to do with Dracula. Uh, that's the Mead goalie, Jeff. Yeah. Well, why do you call him Dracula? Because he's afraid of crosses. Yes. Take it from me, Larry Tompkins will have him like a puppet on his string. What <laughs> sort of string? On his hamstring, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget that color screen, and you think of that. And you know how good he is at catching balls, Jeff. Ask Jack O'Shea Kerry. Don't forget him, he the all Ireland high jump champion, Teddy McCarthy, works the high balls. <laughs> yeah, that's true, all right. Although my eyes say that Dinny Allen and Dave Barry will want to keep the ball on the ground. Because I heard that they've got special training in dribbling from Jackie Charlton. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, this wouldn't be great, though. Wouldn't it be great if yeah. Dinny Allen got an all Ireland football medal yeah. to go with the FEI medal? Wouldn't <laughs> You don't mention that, sir. Yeah. What are you doing? There could be someone listening to his boy. <laughs> be careful of what you're saying, sir. Anyway, you can take it from me that Tony Nation will be leading us to a glorious victory. And won't be his last year, though, boy. <laughs> and then we'll have to change the national anthem to a nation once again. Well, now, Jay, I think we'll give a blast of Cork's anthem to welcome Sambo II to the banks of the league. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> now, this year, the Cork football team's really on fire. The finest that you've ever seen. And as nation collects the new Sam Maguire, we'll cheer from the new Hill 16. Do me a bit as last year. Tis our tongue, never fear. Now with that, we feel sure you'll agree. So to poor, poor county meet, we'll be sending a read from the banks of me. Oh, lovely. lovely.